it's a mess. Don't eat it. No, I said, one plate. <laughs> one plate. Is but you plate. put that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, mm. no, it's way out of order and disproportionate. <laughs> Hi, welcome to this edition of LL's The Truth. And I have some really special guests with me today. We have Daniel, Jada, Caprice and Stephanie. Hello. Hi. Hi, so good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you're watching from. So this episode is entitled, Not In My House. Mm. So I can identify with that um, because sometimes if I wanted to ask my parents if I could do certain things that my friends did, the answer would normally be no. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what it was, but you know, parents were very protective. They wanted to know about where you were going and you had to be back by a certain time and who you're going with, who's going to be there. Mm -hmm. And um, they had a dream last night. <laughs> so you know, so <laughs> we just wanted to, I just wanted to explore with some of my friends here whether they've had the same experiences. So have you got any friends that can do anything, Jada? Oh, that yeah. yeah. You wouldn't be able to get just everything I feel like everything <laughs> everything um I lived quite far away from school and all my friends would like live kind of nearish the school that I went to so after school like they could all go and chill go to the park do whatever they're doing and be back at like six but I need to get home and my journey home gets me back at six so I never had the opportunity to like stay out and be like yeah let me just chill with my friends it was no be on the bus be on the next bus be home and then it's if the bus is late why are you home late like it was my fault. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> with me, I think school finished with me 20 past three. I'd have to be at home by four. <laughs> the walk, there wasn't even no buses. The walk was like 30, 40 minutes alone. So I'm just like, I don't understand how you expect me to finish school at 20 past three mm -hmm. and get home for four. But I used to bust my ass doing it because <laughs> the real cautions. Cautions. <laughs> the <laughs> I'd rather it not because you'd be out looking for me. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'd just rather be home. Did that ever happen? Did you ever get searched for? No. The only time I got searched for was uh, <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> when I was seven or eight. Um, I went to my nan's side, my mum's mum, and like it was six weeks holidays, mm -hmm. and I was going to church every day. So it was like convention. So Sunday church from quarter past nine to quarter past three. Monday convention, <laughs> Tuesday convention, <laughs> Wednesday convention. So, so I just thought, you know what? This little seven year old myself, I had enough. So I said, Nanny, I'm going to the shop. So the shop's literally across the road. When I mean ten, five seconds, like <laughs> across the road, I said, Nanny, I'm going to shop. So I was allowed to do that. I went going to shop. I packed my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I packed my bag. Um, got to the number eleven bus stop, which was fifteen minutes away, and caught the bus home. Wow. wow, you were bright and you were bright. Very bright. <laughs> Very bright. I got home, my mum wasn't there, clearly because, you know, she she wasn't looking after me, my yeah. nan was. So I went to my neighbour's house and everyone was searching for me. Oh my goodness. I definitely got into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> definitely had all my uncles looking out for me uh -uh. as well. Um, and till this day, my nan hasn't forgotten. Wow. <laughs> but that's. You're very intelligent at seven, you did that. Mm. Yeah, I just thought, I can't, I love Jesus, but... <laughs> <laughs> Even he rested. <laughs> yeah, yeah seven day rested. No, 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 it was too much, too, too much, too much. Mm -hmm. So that's the one unruly thing I did, mm -hmm. and I got the consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay, we won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Daniel? Did you experience not being able to do things at your friends, or even now? Um, yeah. Well, there was definitely no staying over your friend's house mm -hmm. because. <laughs> My parents are like, you don't know their hygiene, don't know their sleeping arrangements, yes. sleep the animals or have the animals on the side. It was um, <laughs> very, you, you're not staying over there, you can come over here, but mm. over there. Mm. What about you, Caprice? Anything? Um, no sleepovers, it's yeah. not a thing. I think that's unanimous, isn't it? No sleepovers. Yeah. Because we don't know who's in that other household. We like they used to take it deep. To my my mum was deep. Like deep. Mm. Yeah. But um, mm. yeah, nah. Mm. I think one of the times 
I was out with my mum, my, my friend's mum, all day, like, shopping and stuff. And she was like, oh, you can stay over. So I said, I don't think my mum's really going to allow it. And mom, she was like, no, 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 I'll speak to your mum. So she dropped me home, spoke to my mum. She was like, oh, Steph can stay over with um, Cheryl if you want. Like, my mum's like, oh, that's lovely, but I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not like that. That's, that's not happening. Maybe next time. You know that word. Maybe means never. Means no. She goes maybe next time, but I, I really don't know you like that. And Fair that would that's not so oh, yeah. Did I get asked again? Um, <laughs> no. Nah. But the thing is, as kids, we think we because we we've got a special friend at school. Um, we think we know everything about that child, but you don't actually know what's going on in that household, mm-hmm. do you? Mm-hmm. So. Although it might seem unfair, your 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 mum or your dad's been so horrible. There's a big bite. Well, you've been protected from mm-hmm. things that you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. So that's it. But the other day, I was in the supermarket, just shopping as you do, and there was this situation going on between a mum and a child. But the child, she's about 15, so she's not a child really, and. The, the mum was getting on the young girl's nerves and she says to her mum, you're so thick! And she shouted, you know, in a supermarket. <laughs> and, I, and I turned around because I wanted to see if she was prostrated on the floor <laughs> or something. <laughs> but her mum was like, just going back and forth. I'm like, I could have never, could never. I could even think it. I could have, I would have gotten lit down in the shower. <laughs> I don't know where. Where. <laughs> No. We've talked to Let me speak! I used to just get the look. Oh, um, yes. The, the, you know, that, that yeah, look. Yeah, wait till you get in the car. Wait, wait till you get home. <laughs> no, that look. Mm-hmm. You want to walk away from me in a, in a supermarket, all right? <laughs> wait, till wait till you get home. Exactly. But there was one time when I was in the supermarket with my daughter and she kept, every minute our sister would stand next to me and she would be going away. So I saw her and she was playing about and she's doing whatever because she's not listening and I, I decided I'm going to go a few aisles away. All of a sudden, about 10 minutes later, I hear, can the parents of so and so come next to child? <laughs> so I went to her and I said, thank you very much. And I said, didn't I tell you to stand right next to me? But I did that because I knew what would happen because there was a lesson to be told. Yeah, it's a controlled environment. Yes. <laughs> but don't you think that sometimes it's a better way to, you know, teach your child? Because I've got lost a few times when I was younger and it was traumatising. <laughs> I thought I was never going to see my mum again. <laughs> <laughs> like, getting lost in CNA. Like, you guys probably don't know CNA, but I got lost in there a few times and yeah, it wasn't the one stuff, I'm not going to lie. Traumatising. But CNA stood for children and adults, didn't it? So that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got lost in Tesco and I was buying my eyes out. Yeah. My brother had to come get me. It was, it was not nice. <laughs> and I got a slap as well from the yeah. <laughs> one. Yeah. So, does anybody, you know, so did you have a privacy policy of any sort in your household? Do you know what I mean by privacy no, policy? No, so, when I was going to school or whatever, um, there was this thing that uh, my friends had a lock on their bedroom door. Come oh, on. And what, what, what? So the parents couldn't go in because that was their private space. What are they hiding? I don't know. But they were allowed. That's what these days we call it a privacy policy, GDPR. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> about GDPR? Do I even open my own letters? <laughs> <laughs> Until this day. I'm still at home, you know, and my mum was like, oh, I accidentally opened your letter. Like, I know. <laughs> Nosy. You definitely want to know what's in my hand. <laughs> I can't say nothing, though. No. So there's this rule, isn't there, that, you know, once you're under my roof, you know, I need to know exactly what's going on in the household. So if a letter comes for you, you know, and you're not paying any bills, what's this letter for? <laughs> yeah, no, that's size. So I'm so surprised that some children grow up with the fact that their parents have to knock the door before they go into their room. I'm like, my mum would say to me, you pay any light bill in here? <laughs> You know, so I just don't understand that, but it's nice. I mean, it's good that kids should have their privacy, mm. but sometimes you have to know what's going on for in your what, child's what, life as well. What are they hiding? I don't, what is there to hide as mm. a child? Maybe I'm probably... I mean, I'm just being facetious calling it a privacy policy. I'm just saying that 
some children can command from their parents that they must not let up before they enter. But I don't know many friends mm -hmm. that have that privilege because that is a privilege. It is. Definitely. My knock was hearing the footsteps on the landing. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's my knock. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And if, if my mum called me once and I didn't hear, there's a problem, you know. So right. there's no this thing about, at the moment, you guys always have your earbuds or earpods in your ears. <laughs> you can't hear anything. Huh? Make, your, mm. make, make my mother call me three times. <laughs> I would just... <laughs> nah. It's very different now. I, I'm, I'm a bit different now. Back in the day, I used to respond. I'll let you call me till you tell me what you want. <laughs> <laughs> No, obviously. Because I'll call you because for fun. Call, yeah, call me my name. <laughs> call me my name, but you're not actually saying. Mm. I'm like, yeah, yes, mom. Stephanie. Yes, mom. Mm. Stephanie. You're not actually telling me nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when I go downstairs, it's something like. Uh, you keep asking the remote. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. I was sleeping. <laughs> deep in sleep. School is coming tomorrow. I need to be up at seven. I'm catching my Z's and I hear Jada and then it's the silence. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what keeps me. <laughs> Mom! Mom! <laughs> and then you have to get up out of the bed, you get cold again, you're woken up and downstairs, okay, Mom, what is it? Can you pass the remote? Where was the remote? Here. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, oh, my mum did it to me, you need to have the experience. <laughs> You have to hand down these things on your coach, you know. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a thing called breaking the cycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> breaking the cycle. Not everything needs to be handed down. Not at all. Um, so, no. uh, what about disproportionate sanctions? I mean, there was an emoji that was going around on all the social media saying about, especially Jamaican parents or Caribbean parents, that the sanctions are like disproportionate. I tell you, for wash the plate then. If you can't wash the plate in my house, you better leave it, you <laughs> So really, because you didn't wash the plates, that means you must pack up your bags and go. And it would be so, the one plate, you know. Mm. The one. <laughs> and then when it's, oh, can you just do the dishes? Just one dish in the thing. The whole oh, sink is full. No, no. no. <laughs> the kitchen is a mess. <laughs> Dotty, it nasty. One plate. <laughs> <laughs> one plate is But you thing. put them? <laughs> Oh mm. yeah, no, it way out of order and disproportionate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that energy in my life. <laughs> so you've listened to some of the um, examples that we've given you. Please put some comments down below if you think there are certain things that you would not be able to get through, get away with in your household. So at the moment, we're talking about disproportionate sanctions, but I bet you, you know, when you each have a child, you're going to replace some of these things, don't you think? Nah. No? You know, you know what? The PTSD yeah. is real. No. No, I, think I will because even though I'm saying breaking the cycle. No. <laughs> Maybe oh one God. time. No, Maybe so one time. It's culture. Listen, I'm calling their name and not saying what I want from them. Mm. <laughs> they need to know. They need to know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But you know, regardless of whether you thought it was so unfair, whatever was laid out to you to do there was never a point where you could just raise your voice or have a standard argument with your parents no, definitely no no, no bad chat um, no. no swearing no no, no. no. Yeah, even today i can't swear in front of my uh, no never do you know yeah. what i did want at, at my big age now but it's when i was driving and i, I this said i caught myself and i was like sorry 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, oh, why is when I'm driving? When I'm driving, I'm like, sorry, mm. sorry, sorry, mom, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong because that shows a bit of that there's that regard and respect that you think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. It's always when I'm driving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, even subjects that we are discussing on this um, channel, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what's my mom going to say if we're going to talk about this, that, the other? <laughs> At my age. Yeah. So I don't think it until I'm. I, I, I um. Till I die, I think I'll always be thinking, oh gosh, what the mom gonna say, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever else. Mm -hmm. Which isn't a bad thing. So, um, the other thing that I could think of is that uh, once my mom cooked for the day, if I didn't like what she cooked, then that, you know, that was up to me not to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never. There wouldn't be a different selection of food because I didn't like, I don't know, peas or whatever, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. you're gonna sit at that table to eat the peas, you know? Uh no, I feel like maybe my experience is a little bit different because I was the only child in my house. So. Oh, single child syndrome. Listen, <laughs> I'm the best, the best syndrome. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Sometimes I didn't get that slice. No, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <laughs> cook things that I like but I am a very weird child well I was a weird child so I love vegetables mm. I, I, I love salad and I love all those things so it wasn't a problem okay. for me to say I don't want to eat that because mm. I would eat it so you never, she never cut, you know, cow foot or anything else. She never ate, mm. um, mm. she never ate <laughs> beef because it's a mad cow disease until this day. <laughs> until this day, she was like, I'm not touching it because the mad cow disease was real. So she don't touch cow foot, she don't eat pig foot, none of that cow mm. foot, chicken foot. So I, I was blessed. So. She don't touch it and she don't eat pork, so mm. yeah. Mm. No, okay. I think, I remember one time, I got I can't remember what the meal was but I don't think I liked it and my mum made sure that the next day the same plate was given to me for me wow. to finish. <laughs> and I was like for breakfast. What an yeah. evil what an evil mum. Right. Oh, horrible mother. No. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was quite fortunate so I didn't eat the meal. I would get cereal and some cereal and some oh. Yeah. So I was quite lucky. You were lucky. It's <laughs> like <laughs> you really should have come back to you in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for listening to this channel. We've finished this episode. And please do subscribe. Please do share, share, share. And we'd like to hear your comments. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye.